Hello, my name is Super Hadley, and today I'm going to be doing another Game Maker Studio tutorial. I'm not really sure what to call this tutorial, so whatever I titled it, that's what I decided with. But basically, I'm going to teach you how to make these balloons um, that float around, but that are also buttons. And how to make them just float around randomly, how to do the score thing, and how to make blue bounce about, like he does. So first we're going to start off with blue, see how he sort of goes around, but he doesn't, um, the issue was I googled a lot of things to figure out how to make this guy randomly bounce off the walls, and all of the ways that they did it, and ended up getting caught like going back and forth, that means my time ran out, but going back and forth and back and forth, like in a perfect line, and it would just get stuck like that. So we've created some of our own code in order to fix it. Alright, so... When blue's created, he starts moving in a direction, and it's any direction, speed of four. And do, 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 do. you don't need to know any of that, which is good. Under the step event, do, 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 do. this is what you're looking at. So basically, uh, directions plus equals choose 1.5, negative 1.5. And so basically, this is saying that it's choosing the direction um and instead of going straight off which would be like one it's going 1 1.5 so it's going off at a little tiny bit of an angle um if direction is greater than 360 that can actually go down direction minus equals 360 so yeah basically that's just making it so that he doesn't bounce off the wall and come straight back which very helpful also have um I should show you this on the room. Also have these like little white walls that are on the outside of the room so that he can bounce the full thing of the room. There's probably a better way to do that, but I just have it so that if he collides with those he bounces back in. So and none of that matters. Okay, so that's sort of how you do it with blue. Um as far as these um objects, they start moving in the random direction again at a bit of a slower speed, um, just because I put it that way. The code is precisely the same. It's the direction thing. Um, so that's exactly the same as blue. Um, and they have the object walls the same. And we do left press, they go to a specific room. So that's how you make them sort of work as buttons. Just when you press them, they go to a room. It's really simple. Um, same with all of the other balloons are exactly the same. And the score balloon... It's a bit different. This is a balloon that runs around doing score. In the create, it sets score to zero. Starts moving in a random direction, speed of four. So that's why all of them are hit. Under the step, it executes a bit of code. Which is the same direction thing. It has the walls that are the same. And then it draw GUI. It says draw value of score on score.x, score.y. You can also put in there like self.x, self.y. But I don't because... I like having the full name there, but you can write self.x, self.y, that works. And the special thing about the score that you need to keep in mind is in its sprite, you need to not center it, but put it over where you want the first number to come. So this is where the first number will be, so that when it gets to 10, it's sort of underneath the score, and then when it gets to 100, it's exactly centered. If you have it over here, your score is going to go this way, and it's going to be off your balloon. So I have mine like right here. And I wrote score on there myself because I thought it would be cooler. And that's essentially how you make all of these guys bounce around like balloons or just bounce around. And how you make the buttons, buttons. So really, really simple stuff. Just getting it out there. Um, as always, thank you very much for watching. Please just give blah, 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 please give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you in any way. Comment if you've got a question or something to say. If you want the code for the direction, there will be a link in the description. It will be on my website. Thank you, as always. Bye.